All right, angular distance drawing B. So this is the this is three B B. I know that's a little weird. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the angular distance for these pipes where they meet. So again, it's the whole point of that forty and ninety. We know that's going to be there's certain things that they're going to be uh, follow through. So here we go. So this one's a little different. What we're going to start off by doing is we're going to take this line here and see how it continues over for you a little bit because what we want to do is we want to create a perpendicular line from that through one. And so if I take my triangle, and I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down because it's just going to be a pain in the hind. And I want to work reverse down here on this one so you can see hopefully better. So I'm lining up my, my parallel straight edge up with that. Put some tape in the corners to tape it down so it doesn't move around on me. And now I draw a perpendicular through that. So that's step one is I'm drawing a perpendicular line to three four. So this has got that that right angle, that 34. That thirty that <sighs> anyway, sorry. Brain fart. Now what we want to do is we want to continue carrying over that same um, perpendicular parallel lines for point P where it meets and point three. Well we don't do three because three four is on this one, so it's just going to need to be sorry. Too far, but far enough. Okay. Now we need to find some measurements so that we can actually draw this. So we're trying to find, we're solving for, dang it, come here, you. Pull up a lot. So this line is now, see how they're now parallel and they run each other, so it's perpendicular to here. So again, you've got that, that perpendicular line. We want to find A and B, so in this particular distance, our little a distance is going to be from here to here will be little a. And then from all the way down here where point P is, that's going to become, that, that's that way, that's become, going, to become our, going to become our B. I should have done this in the first place, but I didn't because I wasn't thinking again. Just connect them because it just makes things easier. All right, so let's transfer A. And remember, it's to the center A, not to the outside edge A, because it's just represented like a pipe. So there's our A on the 3, 4. And then our B. This is now going to become three, four, P. All right, so next after we find that, this is like our edge view here, we're going to draw a line parallel for this line through point T, point two here, and then we'll draw the lines perpendicular. So this line that we just drew now becomes our line that we want to keep everything lined up to. I'm trying to get it within the shot there, within the frame, come on, cooperate. There it goes. Oh, that piece of tape is no bueno. Okay. So now I have it here. I'm going to line up parallel because that gives me my felt second fold line. Draw my perpendicular lines up. I 
And now we got to transfer some measurements yet again. So this time we need to find a couple of different distances. Here we go. So this time we're going to find C. C is the distance from here to here. Then we need to find, oh no, that's E, sorry. That's E. Distance from here to here is C. And then our distance from here to here is the D. So we're looking for those different measurements. So here goes nothing. All right, let's go ahead and find um, C. Transfer it. So there's C. C is going to come over on the 3, 4, so. And then let's find D. It's along that same line there. And I realized, oh goodness, I need to come out some more. And you can line it up with your straight parallel arm. Or since I know what that is, I am just going to continue it out. Just like that, using my triangle. Okay. Make sure I didn't shift the divider. DD. And then E, E. Okay, and now we're going to do this again. We're going to take our 45 degree angle yet again. Get that 45 degree angle where it lines up, hits here with that E hit to the end of the straight line there. To here. There it goes. So we now have point three is here. Your four is here. This is now your P, and this is now going to be your point O. So that's how we find. It. And of course, it's a uh, forty-five degrees from here to here. And then you will again come in and take your divider and measure this. And then it's the same thing. You find it on the engineering scale. Find out what it is. And each one inch on engineering scale is equal to 10 feet. And do the math so that you can get it. And then finish filling out the title block and everything down here at the bottom. All right, congratulations. Let's go on to the third one. Or actually, this will be now our, what, fourth drawing? So we're actually going to move on to C.